Welcome to a video on how to answer the exam questions for the Forms of Expression End of Unit Test. The first question is an A question. Outline three Christian religious symbols and it's worth three marks. So you need to have full sentences, three examples, and you need to display knowledge of signs and symbols. One example of a Christian symbol is a crucifix, which represents Jesus' sacrifice. Another example is the ichthus, which represents discipleship. A third example is a dove, and this represents the Holy Spirit. You get a mark for a crucifix, a mark for ichthus, and a mark for dove. The second question is a B question. It explains two reasons why sacred vessels are significant for Catholics. So you need to have two reasons, display knowledge of sacred vessels, and you need to ensure that you have two points and they're developed as you get a mark for each developed point. Firstly, sacred vessels are important as they are objects used as part of the liturgy of the Eucharist in Mass. They are recognisable symbols as the congregation will know they contain the body and blood of Jesus, therefore helps focus devotion. Secondly, sacred vessels such as the water stoop are important because they contain holy water at the entrance to the church. This is important because Catholics believe they should bless themselves with water as they enter the church. So you get a mark for the point and then the explanation. So you get a mark for the object used part is the liturgy of the Eucharist in the Mass and then the development. You get a mark for the water stoop and then the development. Third question is a C question. Explain the importance of two internal features of the Catholic Church. And in your answer, you must refer to a source of wisdom and authority. You need to have two reasons. You need to know about the inside of the church because this is what internal means. And you must use evidence from the Bible, catechism or the key thinkers. One important internal feature of the Catholic Church is the lectern, a stand where readings are read. The Church teaches that the Church requires a suitable place for announcing its message. This shows its importance as Catholics believe the Bible is the Word of God and the Church should have a particular place set apart to listen to God's plan of redemption. Another important internal feature is the altar, which is the focal point of a Catholic Church. It is important because it is where the priest consecrates the host for the sacrament of the Holy Communion to take place. You get a mark for the point, evidence and the explanation. So you get a mark for the lectern and then the evidence and then the development of the evidence. Then you get a mark for the altar and then the mark for the development of that point. The last question is a D question and it's a statement. Modern praise and worship songs help people to worship God. And you must evaluate the statement considering arguments for and against. And in your response, you've got to include the following bullet points. You must refer to Catholic teachings. You must refer to different Christian points of view. And you must reach a justified conclusion. And for this question, you can gain 12 marks. So to answer this question successfully, you've got to show a knowledge of contemporary and traditional music, as this will give a balanced argument. You must also use evidence from the Bible, catechism or key thinkers, as well as using divergent Christian views or examples. And you must use evidence to back up your opinion. So 
Let's look at the arguments for and against. Someone may agree with this statement because modern praise and worship songs may encourage a younger person to understand and learn about their faith. It may make it easier for them to feel that religion is relevant to their lives and connect with the church, whereas traditional music may not always do this. I think this is a strong argument because we live in a secular society and by making music more relevant to younger people it is a form of evangelism, a way of spreading the word, which is more important than ever and may encourage the younger generation to attend church services. Furthermore, a lot of Pentecostal churches experiment with contemporary music as they feel modern music helps people to get involved and joyful worship to God. These types of Christians believe that contemporary music is a way they can connect to God through the power of the Holy Spirit. Others may disagree with this point as modern praise and worship songs can often be modified to fit in with what is required. Therefore, the message it is portraying may be altered and not in keeping with the church tradition. Some Catholics may agree with this point because the traditional type of music that was used in Mass was plain chant which is sung in Latin with no instruments, meaning that the message is not altered and there are no distractions. I think this is a weak argument because the Second Vatican Council made changes that tried to encourage the laity to be more involved and therefore, as a result, this type of music has declined since the 1960s. So you can clearly see that there's reasons to agree with this statement. There's examples of praise of the evidence saying that it is a strong argument. There is divergent Christian views, which are then linked in with different Christian beliefs. You can also see reasons to disagree with the statement. And you can see some Catholic beliefs within this answer. As well as appraisal of the evidence using the Second Vatican Council as an example. The conclusion. Overall, I agree with this statement because I think modern praise and worship songs massively help people worship God. The Second Vatican Council encouraged participation from the laity and I believe that modern praise and worship songs do this. The music becomes more relevant and it encourages people to make that spiritual connection with God. I do believe there is a place in worship for traditional music, but by having contemporary music, it means that everyone can get involved and a lively community is created, therefore helping people to worship God. So you can see again within the conclusion, the Second Vatican Council is referenced. And then this is developed by saying it's relevant and it encourages people to get involved. This answer would gain 10 marks. It critically destructs the religious information and issues. There is some appraisal of the evidence. It's coherent and you can see the logical chains of reasoning. Judgments are fully made and supported by evidence and there is a justified conclusion. To make it even better, there needs to be a more comprehensive appraisal of the evidence.